Assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to my channel hope so you all are fine today i have a question x raised to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to 0 and we have to find the value of x so here left hand side is x raised to the power 5 minus 1 can be factorized and right hand side is equal to 0 so how can it factorized we have a formula we have this formula which is x raised to the power n minus 1. It can always be factorized where n is a positive integer. And x raised to the power n minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times x raised to the power n minus 1 plus x raised to the power n minus 2 plus x raised to the power n minus 3 plus up to so on it will become 1 so here we have n is equal to 5 so x raised to the power 5 minus 1 will be equal to x minus 1 times x raised to the power 5 minus 1 is 4 plus x raised to the power 5 minus 2 is 3 plus x raised to the power n minus 3 means 5 minus 3 is x square plus similarly 5 minus 4 will be x raised to the power 1 plus 5 minus 5 will be 0 so x raised to the power 0 will be 1 and it is equal to 0 so it means it is equal to 0 so from here, we have two cases that x minus 1 is equal to 0 and this factor x raised to the power 4 plus x raised to the power 3 plus x raised to the power 2 plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here, x will be equal to 1. Now, here we have x raised to the power 4 plus x raised to the power 3 plus x raised to the power 2 plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. 1 is same as x raised to the power 0. So this 4 plus 0 is power 4 and here 3 plus 1 power is 4 and x square is its middle term. Now we will divide whole equation with x square. So, it will become x raised to the power 4 divided by x square will be x square plus x cube divided by x square will become x plus x square divided by x square will become 1. x divided by x square will become 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by x square and 0 divided by x square will again become 0. So, from here, we will arrange this equation as x square plus 1 over x square plus x plus 1 divided by x and then plus 1 is equal to 0. As we know that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, if we take a as x and b as 1 divided by x, so x plus 1 divided by x whole square will become x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 2ab means 2 into x into 1 divided by x is same as 2. So, from here, x square plus 1 divided by x square will be equal to x plus 1 divided by x whole square minus 2. So, we will replace this x square plus 1 divided by x square with this. So, it will become x plus 1 divided by x whole square minus 2 and then plus x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, it will become x plus 1 divided by x whole square plus this x plus 1 divided by x 
minus 2 plus 1 is same as minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, if we take here x plus 1 divided by x as t, so we will let here that t is equal to x plus 1 divided by x. So, our above equation will become t square plus t minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, it is the form of a quadratic equation. So, we will solve it by quadratic formula. And quadratic formula is t is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, it will become t is equal to minus b means minus 1 plus minus square root of b squares means 1. Minus 4ac minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 will, will become plus 4 divided by 2a means 2 into 1 is 2. So, it will become t is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. But here, we have t is equal to x plus 1 divided by x. So, it will become x plus 1 divided by x is equal to minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now, here we have two cases that x plus 1 divided by x is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and x plus 1 divided by x is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So, if we multiply whole equation with x to make it quadratic, so it will become x square plus when it will multiply it with 1 divided by x, it will become 1 and it will be equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 into x. Similarly, it will become x square plus 1 is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 into x. Now, we will rearrange this equation as x square minus Minus 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. And it will become x square minus minus 1 mi minus square root of 5 divided by 2 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we will multiply whole equation with 2 to remove this fraction. So it will become 2x square minus minus 1 plus square root of 5 x plus 2 is equal to 0 and this equation will become 2 x square minus minus 1 minus square root of 5 into x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now again it is a form of a quadratic equation in terms of x so we will apply again here quadratic formula so it will become x is equal to minus b so it will become minus into minus will become plus so it will become minus 1 plus square root of 5 plus minus square root of b squares means minus 1 plus square root of 5 whole square minus 4ac means 4 to time 8 and 8 to time 16 divided by 2 into 2 is 4. So, it will become x is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 plus minus square root of, it is the form of a plus b whole square. So, it will become a square, 1 square is 1 and square root of 5 square will be 5 plus 2ab means minus 2 square root of 5 minus 16 divided by 4. So, it will become x is equal to, we can write it as square root of 5 minus 1 plus minus square root of this 1 plus 5 is 6 and 6 minus 16 is minus 10 
minus 2 square root of 5 divided by 4. So from here it will become x is equal to square root of 5 minus 1 plus minus. It can be written as square root of 10 plus 2 square root of 5 and minus 1 is common from these two terms. So square root of minus 1 will be iota divided by 4. So from here we have two other values of x, x2 and x3. Similarly, when we will solve this quadratic equation, so from here we can get the values of x are minus 1 minus square root of 5 plus minus square root of minus 10 plus 2 square root of 5 divided by 4. So these are the other two values of 4 and 5. So first value of x is 1. Second and third value of x is this and the four and fifth values of x are this. So these are all five values of x for this problem. Hope so you will like my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.